Hi everybody, this is Toby. Um, this is going to be a video, the first of uh, the character videos to show you the various character models along with their armory sets, how they fit together, um, you know, just a little, just basically a show and tell, but also to kind of show you the way that these fit together so that you can understand how each character's push fit mechanism works. And also, you know, if over time, if after normal wear and tear, if things become loose, how to just push them tighter together so that they always will um, always have a nice tight fit for you. So we're going to start with the Kerr this week and this is just the, the model to the left is just there to add some weight. That's actually the Grove the Grove Maiden's Ancient that she comes with. Um, but he's just there because I'm just using this little box for back uh, the backstop so you could focus this thing clearly. But So we'll just go through the, the Kerr character quickly and you could start with his, uh, this is the, the biggest piece obviously is his body. and he has a lower back piece here which forms the bottom portion of the push fit so let me just push that in you can hear the the press fit working and that's how you know it's it's nice and tight is when you hear that uh, the, the plastic kind of pushing against each other so with that bottom piece you can then grab his cloak in the other side of his head and once this is pushed into place can hear that push fit now that basically forms the majority of the character in terms of the push fit portion because now you can see he'll have his uh, the push fit for his left arm and the push fit for his right arm right there so i'm just going to put him in the base so that he'll uh, stay nice and tight for now so that we have him there and then he's got his left leg i'm just going to connect that really quick just like that so that basically forms the base of the character. And if this was, you know, if you didn't have the armory pack, you would just have his left arm. This is the way they'll come fully assembled in the box. But that has a nice tight fit, tight fit there. And then his left arm, just like that. So this is the way they'll come, obviously, assembled at the manufacturer. If uh, you know, right in the box. So you won't have to put these together, but at least you can see how they fit together. And, you know, this this is the, uh, I guess I'll call it the second generation. The first, very first one that we showed you a couple uh, updates ago was this guy. And the difference between the two of them, because this guy's left, his arm was a little bit, sorry, I'm in the way here. His, his arm was a little bit loose here. And you can actually see it because we had to make the, the gap tighter. If you look at the, the guy who's a little bit loose, there's a very fine, you can almost can't see it, but that gap there is enough to make a loose joint. But now on the new one, it's perfectly tight. So that's just one of the little modifications that was making the old one kind of somewhat loose and why the new one is so much tighter. So that's the base version of the Kerr. So now let's take a look at his various weapon options. So let's start with the one-handed swords. So the, because these are just um, the first test samples basically coming out of the molds, the manufacturer just uses whatever color they have on hand. So none of these colors really reflect what's going to be in the box. The characters will be slightly lighter and obviously the arms will never be black like this. But for test samples, they kind of just use whatever color they have laying around. So let's take a look at how the, how the, uh, the army works. So I'll just set his daggers off to the side. And we'll start with his left arm. So there's the left arm sword and the right arm sword. Just like that. So we're gonna take a look at him with his with the sword equipment. And the next one we'll look at uh swords off and let's look at the axes so now the the Kerr is a all of his weapons are one-handed so he doesn't have any two-handed weapons um, but he's got the full range of one-handed weapons that are that are in the game so there's the right arm axe and here's the left arm axe just like that so you can see how, how that looks and we try to give the design of the the weapons to kind of match the theme of the character. So, you know, the axe, the one-handed axe that he holds will look different than the one-handed axe that the warden holds or the penitent or the, you know, the Scar Tribe guy. So everybody kind of has their own 
thematic design for their weapon choices. And he also holds maces, so here's his, here's the mace for his left arm, here's the mace for his right arm, and again, that's it's kind of like a design that, that kind of reflects what his theme was for, you know, being a, a guy who hides in the shadows and jumps out for backstabbing and clubbing people from behind. And his last set of weapons are flails. So he's got one-handed flails that go, that he can equip in addition to any of his other weapons. And obviously you can mix and match to, you know, to whatever your, your taste is. So there is his flail outfit. So my favorite, just you know, for giggles, is to have the one-handed flail along with either the one-handed sword, which is a cool little, sorry. Either the, the one-handed sword with the flail or the one-handed axe with the flail. I really like, I really like the axe as well. It's a cool little thing, and if I remember the, the rules correctly, you get the, when you have a crit with an axe, you get a, uh, uh, like an empowerment token or an animus token, like you get animus back when you crit with the axes, so, um, but obviously, you know, you can make your model look however you want to look it, and, you know, to your taste, it doesn't always have to reflect what's on the table, but I, mean, I guess I'm one of those what you see is what you get type of people, so I like to reflect exactly what he's, what he's equipping on the table, so. Um, that's basically the full range of the of the Kerr. He's got axes, maces, swords, daggers, and flails. So he's got those those uh, those five or six there. You can see how he stacks up against the Grove Maiden's Ancient. Now the Grove Maiden Ancient is on a 40 millimeter base, while the Kerr is on a 32 millimeter base. So you can get a, an idea of the, the size difference. But you know these guys are supposed to be big, so um, they're teammates. They're not enemies. So. <laughs> Um, anyway, that's that's how the the current model fits together. Now, like I was saying, if you know over time, you know you're going to be taking these things apart, putting them back together, you know, taking the arms off, putting them back together. If you ever have a case where an arm feels loose, the only thing you need to do is just push his, you know, push these two pieces with your fingers. Just pinch them, just by pinching them. If it ever feels loose, all you have to do is pinch like that, pinch like that. And you're and you're good to go. That's basically the you know the key to the the push fit is all these pieces coming together like a sandwich. But you know when you're taking these things out, sometimes you might twist like this and torque it and start to pry those apart. Which you know that's just going to happen over time. But as long as you push them back together, just like that, you have a nice tight fit. Even with that, everything fits exactly as it should. These should last you know essentially forever because you're not even though these are push fit together, when it comes to the arms, there's just enough there to, to get a good grab. It's not actually deforming any plastic. So these should last basically forever for as many times as you wanna take them apart and put them back together. So, um, and obviously when you're handling these things, you know, you wanna be careful not to, just because this isn't like PVC, where PVC bends, uh, hips is much stronger, but if you're not careful, if you bend it too far, it'll snap. But you know, you have to do it. You have to really, um, you have to really put a lot of force on it to snap it. But it's just one of those things you want to be careful of when you're handling these. These aren't the type of models that you just throw around and don't care about, kind of like the PVC, because they're they're softer and they're more ductile, so they can handle the, the impact. Whereas hips plastic, for the people who who know who've you know who dealt with hips plastic and assembling games workshop miniatures most of their lives you know that you got to kind of be careful you can't just throw these things around you want to protect them so that they don't they don't break on you so anyway that is the that is the current model that is his armory set and um that's the first of many videos to come so as i get the armory pieces in we'll do more videos of these for each of the characters that come through so you can see them all so thanks a lot talk to you later